Go ahead, Rick, Republican line. Uh, good morning, Congressman Ridgel. I want to tell you that I agree with uh, your thoughts about Afghanistan and Iraq, and we can, as a country, go in and try to change their culture, their mindset, and who they are, and try to make them like us. So the two questions I want to ask you is, um, how did we get to that thinking that we could do that? And number two, with respect to Afghanistan and terrorism, what do you see as, as our ability to do something better than we're doing now to protect our border, especially in Texas, where we have such a big problem there? All right, Rick. Rick, thank you for your call. Um, well, I believe, uh, Rick, it's, an, it's a noble intent. And uh, I don't mean that in any condescending way, but it is a noble intent. You know, when you go to Afghanistan, I've had the privilege of, of uh, being there in Kabul and Kandahar and, and seeing where we've uh, given so much uh, sacrifice of, of uh, our young men and women and the price that they've paid. And, and you see the abject poverty, uh, you know, goats running through Kabul. And, and um, you know, we are, as Americans, we, we just believe that we can do things and we can. You know, I believe in American exceptionalism uh, and, and all that that represents. But um, this idea that, uh, that we can really shape and change the culture, a deeply entrenched culture, I, uh, I just don't, I don't, I don't hold that view. And I think history teaches us that that is profoundly difficult, if not impossible. But uh, so I think it's just this American idealism. We just want the world to be a better place. And that's a good thing. And I don't want us to, to lose that as Americans. The second point you mentioned about border security, I have a, the privilege of not only serving on House Armed Services, but also on Homeland Security. And uh, we've just we've had uh, multiple hearings, and we'll continue to do so, uh, to talk about the to the, uh, our, our border to the south and the north, and really all points of entry, our ports, for example, airports as well. That um, you know the fact that uh, uh, weapons now are highly lethal; they're portable; they're smaller. We're in asymmetric warfare, and and so we need to to know who's coming into the country. Uh, from all points of entry, and we need to do a better job of uh, securing all of our borders, not only in the south, but, uh, but in the north as well. Our guest has been Scott Ridgell, a first-termer from Virginia, member of the Armed Services Committee. We appreciate your coming on the Washington Journal. As we continue to look at the president's Afghanistan